Hello, boys and girls. Well, we are going to create a piece of art inspired by Maisie's Rainbow Dream. And we're really going to learn the order of a spectrum or a rainbow. Okay? And obviously, rainbows are created from sunlight and rain and the light going through them, through the water droplets. Okay? So, boys and girls, in Maisie's Rainbow Dream Drawing, I'd like us to try and make a big arch for the tortoise or the turtle, okay? And that's where we're going to fit our rainbow and learn about the colors of the rainbow. So we're going to leave a little space. Maybe we can fit Maisie up at the top. But I'd like to make a nice arch up and down. We're going to create a turtle. And this is where we're going to set our rainbow. So our turtle has a head and a shell and a face, right? Hi, cutie. Four legs, one, two, three, four. And we don't want to just make little line legs. Maybe we can double them up and give them little feet. Oh, cutesy. <laughs> are silly looking. They look like weird little toes, but it doesn't really matter. Just have fun. All right, boys and girls, let's put Maisie somewhere in our drawing. I want to set my Maisie up here. So I'm going to draw her little body sitting down and her little legs. Oh, Maisie. She's always so cute. And here's her head, which is kind of long. She's got that long nose because she's a mouse. And she's got kind of a roundish nose, whiskers. And this is Maisie's rainbow dream. We can add lots of rainbows in here. But I want to make sure we do one big rainbow for sure. Hi, Maisie. And here she is. Amazing. All right. Now there's a certain order that the spectrum always goes in. Now, it's okay if things aren't perfect. They don't have to be perfect. But in a rainbow, she talked about the first color being a red ladybug. So let's start with red. So up at the top of our tortoise or turtle, we're going to add some red. Now this is a little thin because we have a lot of space. And I'd like to really thicken this line up. Red like a ladybug. Red like a ladybug. And I'm really trying to press so I can see this red of a rainbow. Okay. I could make it a little thicker. We have, we're gonna have seven colors. Maybe I can make it a little wider. One, the first color, the ladybug. And orange, like the orange fish. And I think I'm going to draw them down here or all around. Orange, just touch the red, going around. The arch of a tortoise. Or turtle. And next color is going to be yellow like the bee. And I don't want to make it too thin. See how thin that is? It's too thin. So I've got to thicken it up. color is green like a leaf and I'm going to touch the yellow make it a little thick touch the yellow make it a little thicker and then color it in all the way around and now 
we have the green. Next color is going to be blue, like the clock. Touch the green, move it over a little. Blue. I'd like to add the sun and the rain in this picture also. And you can add all sorts of things, all the little animals. So we have indigo, just like the spots on that animal. And it looks pretty much like a dark purple color. They call it indigo. It's called indigo, I should say. It almost looks like a dark purple grape. Here we go with indigo. And the last color of the rainbow or the spectrum is violet. <clears throat> and violet looks like one of those really reddish light grapes. And here we go. Violet. Now look, I have room at the bottom of this. I don't know what, if you have room at the bottom, you could fill it in. You could have a little design in there. I think. I'm just going to fill it in. And boys and girls, you can include all the little animals. You can include the clock, the leaf, the sunshine, the rain. Enjoy yourselves. I'm going to add my ladybug. Ladybug. One, two, three, four, five, six. After you finish the little spots on the red ladybug, the next was an orange fish with fins and a tail. That helps us remember orange fish. And then the next color is yellow and it was a yellow bee. Now I understand it might be hard for you to draw this quickly, that's okay little yellow bee. They can be tiny or you can just add them anywhere. If you don't have them, that's okay. Just trying to show you that the next one was a green leaf and the next color was blue and in her story we had a blue clock. And the funny thing is it had wings and feet like a bird. It looked like a bird flying. Of course, there's numbers on there. You could add numbers. And the next color, of course, is called indigo, which is like a purpley color, bluish purple. It was this funny dog with long ears, jumping. And Maisie's tail got long in the dream. How funny is that? I cannot wait to see how you set up your drawing. You do not have to add all these little characters. I'm just trying to help you remember the order. And the last color in the rainbow is a violet color, and we saw a violet butterfly. Now, boys and girls, I think I'm just going to design my drawing with some sunshine and some rain, clouds. You can add all the characters everywhere. You can have flowers and hearts, and I mean, you guys come up with the best ideas. Thank you, boys and girls. Right here, I think I'm going to put Rainbow Dream. R-A-I-N-B-O-W Dream. D-R-E-A-M. Rainbow Dream. And I think I'm just going to start adding my colors. Enjoy yourself, boys and girls. Thank you. Thank you.